Hey guys, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes and I'm here to illuminate the motherfucking wise. Today we have a quick and random reads. This one's going to be for Aquarius. Aquarius, I made my own deck. Okay, the first deck is called Numbers with Personality. The second one is called Just Numbers. And the last one is called Evil Eye. I made this deck based off of the... the the real evil eye, the one that is uh, round and blue with the black dot in the middle, for those of you that don't know what that is, okay? So they're in colors and they go to specific zodiac signs, okay, guys? Let's move. Let's get cards, please, for Aquarius. What is the angel number, please, for Aquarius? What is the angel number, please, for Aquarius? Ooh, I love it. Yes, it gave me two of them, Aquarius. It says zero, zero, zero. Okay, so you could um, be always timing yourself. I'm hearing div divine timing. Okay, um, zero, zero, zero is giving me like a uh, full card energies. Like there's a new start or a new opportunity coming in for you. Okay, so you, I'm, I'm also getting like your. You're revamping yourself. You're changing yourself. Now, you could be changing your wardrobe, your hair. You could be putting yourself on a diet. You could just simply be working out, but something about you is changing or something something new is coming in, a new opportunity. Okay, your next card, it says 444, protection, spirit guides, protection, not alone, love yourself, okay? So you're being spiritually guided. You're not alone. They want you to work on self-love and self-care. I'm hearing um, words of affirmation like uh, law of attraction or self-appreciation. So the overall deck, it says 11-11, um, signs of spiritual awakening. So you could be seeing the numbers 11-11 or 444 quite often, like 444. You can live in um, your apartment. A number could be 1111. You're not alone. You're always being spiritually protected. Your number to your apartment can equal 1111. You're not alone. I feel like I feel like when you realize that your apartment equals um, an angel number, like 1111, you become like scared or you get nook or you get woke. Because you now you know that you're not alone for sure, for sure. Now you know that you're definitely be spiritually guided. You could be on a new spiritual journey. You're awakening. I'm getting every time you look at the clock, it's 11-11 or it's 444. I'm getting that you're starting to notice signs and synchronicities of spiritual numbers. Or you could be learning spiritual numbers. Or you could be learning something about spiritual awakening or going through one. You may feel like you're, you're alone, but you're not. I'm getting that you're just on a journey of loving yourself right now. I hear, yeah, I'm pouring love into myself. Okay. The next card deck is um, numbers with personality, Aquarius. Can I get a card, please? I'm also getting Aquarius. You can keep hearing a beeping, but you don't know where that beep or sound comes from. Like you, you're just like you're hearing something beep or you're getting a ringing in your ear. Like something is like bothering you or triggering you, but it's like it's trying to awaken you to notice something. I'm getting it's your spiritual guides or your guides. It could be someone that passed away, but it, it's someone. It's something eye opening. Moving on. Your numbers with personality is the number two ruled by cancer, moon, emotional, caring, affectionate. Ooh, so you could be you could you could be getting into a new opportunity to, I guess, a new relationship. This person is going to protect you. You're going to be very loved by this person. To me, the number two is about duality. So yeah, balance. Overall deck. What does it say? The number three. Yeah, expansion. The number three, ruled by Jupiter, Sagittarius. Ooh. Ooh, it says optimistic openness to the world. Have a lot of hope. Wow. A lot of new beginnings is about to come up for you. A lot of luck, a lot of expansion. You can have um you can have Sagittarius in Jupiter. Wow. I feel like I feel like Aquarius, your moon sign is in Cancer. 
You're very intuitive. Like you could feel something coming to you. Can I get a card please from the evil eye deck? What card please for the evil eye deck for Aquarius? What is the card please for Aquarius? It says, it gave me two. One, the first one, it says Sagittarius. Yes, Jupiter, a lot of luck. The color is purple, so you should get a purple eye, evil eye. It says, rebalance your life. Remove obstacles from your imagination. Yes, you're going through a spiritual awakening. Yes, you're, 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 moving, you're, you're removing blocks. You're healing your pain. You're rebuilding your life, yourself, your mind. You're awakening. You're expanding Wow. Your next card from the evil eye deck is Capricorn, Saturn. I feel like you I feel like you're coming overcoming a Saturn obstacle. Wow. It says gray, stepping out of your comfort zone to emphasize your willingness to feel detached or isolated. I feel like you 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 know you're not alone. For some reason I feel like you know you're not alone. You're just on a very awakening journey right now, moving blockages and healing yourself. I feel like you do have, I feel like you do have Saturn and, um, I mean, I feel like you do have Jupiter and Sagittarius. And I really feel like that you have moon sign and Cancer. You probably come off detached and isolated but you're actually very emotional caring and affectionate or you battle this you battle these emotions because all of these emotions are in your mind they don't display in your in your body like how a cancer will cry nah an aquarius will detach but you're learning to cry you're learning to show your emotions versus detaching 11 11 baby your, your evil eye color is purple and gray let me know if you need them